parent or municipal value, what will consider whichever is higher. Municipal tax of the current year left unpaid. Unpaid we will not consider. What is the procedure? Whichever is less. 1 lakh or 90,000 will go for 90,000. Again, if it is for own purpose, what we have to do? We should not consider only interest part we should consider. Hello everyone, this is your other sir, lecturing with your student first grade college, the temple of excellence. So we are in the session 7 of your topic called tax management. Under tax management we are doing the topic is income from house property. Similar kind of problem already we have done but we have a small changes in this problem. We will understand that. The agenda is very simple. We will work out problem on house property. We will only work out so that you will understand better. So these are the problem you have like computation of taxable income from house property. Computation of taxable income from house property. How many houses are there? There are three. First one, house one let out for residence. For residence purpose, house one is let out. Now, the second house, house two let out for business purpose. Second house is let out for business. What about the third one? Third one is used for own business. Remember, if it is a residential purpose or if the building is used for own house, own business, we will not consider, it is not taxable. If you have paid any interest on loan, that can be claimed. Remember again, anything which is used for personal purpose or household purpose, we will not consider this thing for your taxation purpose. We should consider this for your exempted house. And as well as if any interest paid on this will be calculated, will be taken as a your claim. Now, these are the informations we have. We'll go for particular house one, house two, house three. Now, house three, as they told, what they have given, house three let out for own business. So we will not calculate anything about house three. We will calculate only for house one as well as house two. Now, I'll go for the answer. Before that, remember, you have municipal value, fair value, standard rent, actual rent received. You have calculation on these things. Now, I'll go for this. First one, house one, house two, house three, you have. Now, first I'll go for your fair rent. So, municipal value, fair rent, standard rent, actual rent. If you calculate everything, what you will get? You will get your annual value. It is not net annual value. We are calculating only annual value. Now, your annual value, annual value. Now I'll go one by one. What is the first one you have? Municipal value as well as fair rent. Municipal value, municipal value as well as fair rent. So municipal value and fair rent. How much you have? Municipal value you have 70,000, fair rent you have 75,000. So this will be 70 and this will be 75. House 1 we will do, house 2, house 3 will come later. As you know, house 3 we are not doing any calculation. House 1 as well as house 2 we will do it now. Fair rent or municipal value, what will consider? Whichever is higher. Whichever is higher in this, in this we got 75,000 as higher, higher value, higher value you got 75,000. This has to be compared with what? I'll go back. This has to be compared with your standard rent, standard rent. 
So what is your standard rent? As per this, we have your standard rent, 65,000, this one. Your standard rent is 65,000. Out of this what? Whichever is less. This format, it is easy for you to calculate. Now, out of this 75,000 or 65,000, whichever is less, 65. You should consider 65. Lesser. Lesser value. Now, this has to be compared with actual rent received. Now, what is your actual rent received? Actual rent received is 80. Now, actual rent received, we'll write it here. Actual rent, as per this, the actual rent received is 80,000. Now, this will be 80,000. Out of this, again, whichever is higher. So, we will get like 80,000 will be your higher value. Any doubt up to this, hopefully, no doubt. Now, you got 80,000 as whichever is higher. Now, up to 80,000 you got, what is the next procedure? You are supposed to minus the municipal value. What is your municipal value? Now, less your municipal value. Municipal value. As per this, you got your municipal value how much? Yes, municipal value due, paid during the year. It is 3,600. Municipal tax of the current year left unpaid. Unpaid, we will not consider. Remember, whatever paid, we will consider. If it is unpaid, we will not consider. We got around 3,600. So this will be 3,600. How much it is now? This will be 76,400. You got your net annual value. This is your net annual value. So whatever 80,000 you got, this is your gross annual value. Remember, from 80,000 you are supposed to minus your municipal value. You got your net annual value that is 76,400. Once you done with this, less, two things you are supposed to minus. First will be your deduction under section 24. And second one, any interest is calculated. Only these are the things you are supposed to minus. If they have given anything like repairs, don't take. Anything given to landlord, don't take. Anything like any your uh, extension of your building or any electrical repairs, any insurance paid, always remember only two things can be deducted. That will be your 30% standard deduction and one more will be your interest part. This will be under section 24. These are the two things you are supposed to minus. Now, how much you have? 76,400 multiplied with 30%. How much you will get? I'll calculate. 76,400 into 30%. 76,400 into 30%. 76,400 into 30%. You will get 22,920. 22,920. And one more is we have interest also. I'll go back to your question. See. For the current year left unpaid, we will not consider actual repair. We will not consider insurance of property. We will not consider the repairs total comes. It is 20,000. Now, this will be 20. Now, what is your income from house property? I'll go for this. This is 76,400 minus 22,920 minus 20,000. You will get 33,480. 
33,480 is your answer. What is this? Income from house property. Income from house property. Hope you understood. You got 33,480. Clear? Yes. So your first step is over. Now we'll go for house two, second one. Now in the house two, what happens? Again, I'll go back. First will be your 90,000 and 70,000. We'll see which one is higher. So this will be 90,000 and 70,000. Which one is higher? 90,000 or 70? 90,000 will be the higher. Take 90,000. Then next will be it is 1 lakh. 1 lakh is what? Your standard rent. This will be 1 lakh. What is the procedure? Whichever is less. 1 lakh or 90,000 will go for 90,000. Again, once if it is done, the next will be 70,000 actual rent received. Will go for 70,000, whichever is higher. 90,000 or 70, your higher value will be 90,000. Hope up to this, no doubt. Once you're done with that, we are supposed to minus your municipal tax. What is your municipal tax in this? Your municipal tax is 4,000. Remember, municipal tax current year unpaid, we will not consider. So you should consider only 4,000. 90,000 minus 4, it will be 86,000. So then what you are supposed to do? 35% standard deduction. Now, 86,000, 86,000 multiplied with 30%. How much you will get? I'll calculate now. 86,000, 86,000 into 30 divided by 100. You will get 25,800. 25,800. Is there any interest or something? I'll go back to question. You have interest like 40,010. Total how much it is? 50,000. Now, this will be 50,000. Now, what will be your final answer? From 86, you are supposed to minus 25 as well as 50. Almost 75,800. 10,000. 200 something. I'll cross check once again. So 86,000 minus 25,800 minus 50,000. 10,200 is your answer. Any doubt? No. Now, what about the last one? House 3, it is for personal. Is there any interest for this? I'll go back. There is no interest. So it will be zero clear as yes, is what your calculation for the third house if it is for own purpose only you can take interest other than interest you are not supposed to take anything even though municipal tax paid don't claim whatever it is incurred we will not consider for the last house now what is your answer 33480 plus 10200 it will be how much 33,480 plus 10,200. Total, it will be 43,680. This is your income from this is house one and this is house two. Total answer is how much? 43,680. Yes. Now, this is what your calculation. Hope you understood. Now, Remember, these are the calculation. If it is for own purpose, what we have to do? We should not consider only interest part we should consider. So I'll go back to your slides. If you want, you can take screenshot. So this will be your question and your solution part. So this is all about your today's session. Hope you have understood. So please work out without seeing answers so that you will understand better. Thank you.